look at the structure of the human skin. The top layer, called the epidermis, consists mostly of hardened cells, called keratinocytes, and provides protection. Since its outer layer is constantly being shed and renewed, it's pretty easy to look at the structure. But sometimes a wound penetrates into the dermis, which contains blood vessels and the various glands and nerve endings that enable the skin's many functions. And when that happens, it triggers the four overlapping stages of the regenerative process. But so uh, here we have a wound. And any wound that penetrates into the dermis or below is going to cause hemorrhage. So one of the first things you're going to get is bleeding into the wound. So we'll get bleeding into the wound. There will be coagulation. The blood's going to clot. So the wound is initially going to fill with blood clot. So here we have a wound filling with blood and this blood's going to clot fairly quickly. The fibrin strands that compose the blood clot. <clears throat> so what you actually have in a blood clot is fibrin strands with red cells sticking to it. That's what a blood clot is. The Both threats are averted by forming a blood clot. A special protein known as fibrin forms crosslinks on the top of the skin, preventing blood from flowing out and bacteria or pathogens from getting both threats. And also during this stage, the blood clot will start to be removed from the wound. And the blood clot is gradually being dissolved. So here we have the wound now a little later on. And what's happened now is that the fibroblasts, the fibroblasts, blast, a blast cell is a cell which produces something, isn't it? So we have fibroblasts in here, and the fibroblasts produce collagen. And collagen is a high tensile strength protein, and it's formed in strands. So we're going to get strands of collagen forming in the wound. This is good because the collagen strands start holding the edges of the wound together. Now in the initial stages, while we're still in the inflammatory stage, the wound does stick together because the fibrin strands in the blood clot do hold it together to some extent, but it's a very weak fixation. Whereas later on, when the fibroblasts have been attracted into the wound, the fibroblasts start producing collagen, and the collagen is good at holding the wound together. So over the next few days, we're going to get increasing tensile strength of the wound. About two to three days after the wound, the proliferative stage occurs, when fibroblast cells begin to enter the wound. In the process of collagen deposition, they produce a fibrous protein called collagen in the wound site, forming connective skin tissue to replace the fibrin from before. As epidermal cells divide to reform the outer layer of skin, the dermis contracts to close the wound. About also within the wound, we're going to get rearrangement of the collagen fibers. So instead of being a bit higgledy-piggledy like they might have been at this stage, where they're kind of all over the place, because there's constant formation and reabsorption of collagen, the collagen is organized in a way which is going to increase the tensile strength of the wound. So we're going to get decreased vascularity and reordering of the collagen.